All right, so in this problem, I have six to the power of x is equal to 60. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by taking the log on both sides. So I have log six to the power of x is equal to log 60. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this is gonna equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log six to the power of x and I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log six is equal to log 60. Now I'm gonna divide both sides by log six. So then these two cancel out and now I have x is equal to log 60 over log six. Now log 60, I'm gonna rewrite as log six times 10. Now I have this over log six. So if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log six times 10, that's gonna equal log six plus log 10. Now I have this over log six. Now this is the same thing as log six over log six plus log 10 over log six. Now log six and log 62 cancel out. So now I have one plus log 10 over log six. Now log 10, that's the same thing as one. So now I have x is equal to one plus one over log six. And log six, we can rewrite that as log of two times three. So now this is the same thing as log of two plus log of three. And log two, that's equal to 0 0.301. Log three, that's equal to 0 0.4771. So x is equal to one plus one over 0 0.7781. Now one over 0 0.7781, that's equal to 1.2852. So one plus 1.2852 is equal to 2.2852. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of four is equal to four. So I'm gonna first start by subtracting four on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and now I have x to the power of four minus four is equal to zero. Now x to the power of four, I can rewrite as x to the power of two times two, and four I can rewrite as two squared. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of two times two, that's gonna equal x to the power of two to the power of two. Now I have this minus two squared is equal to zero. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x squared and b is two. So I have x squared plus two times x squared minus two is equal to zero. So now this gives me two equations. I have x squared plus two is equal to zero and x squared minus two is equal to zero. So for x squared plus two equals zero, I can subtract two on both sides. So then these two cancel out and I have x squared is equal to negative two. So now to solve this, I'm gonna take the square root on both sides. The square root of x squared is x and the square root of negative two is the square root of two times the square root of negative one. Now, if you guys already know the square root of negative one is equal to i. So I have x is equal to positive or negative the square root of two i. 
Now for x squared minus 2 equals 0, I can simply add 2 on both sides, and I get x squared is equal to positive 2. Now to solve this, I'm going to take the square root on both sides. The square root of x squared is x, and the square root of, and this is equal to positive or negative square root of 2. So now, I'm going to check. My original equation was x to the power of 4 is equal to 4. So the square root of 2 to the power of 4, because this is an even exponent, it doesn't matter if it is positive or negative. It's going to be the same result. The square root of 2 is the same thing as 1 half. So I have 2 to the power of 1 half to the power of 4, which is equal to 2 to the power of 2, which is equal to 4. So this works, and for the square root of 2i, it's exactly the same thing. There's no difference. So my four solutions are right. All right, so in this problem, I have 4 to the power of x is equal to 40. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the log from both sides. So now I have log 4 to the power of x is equal to log... 40. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this can equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 4 to the power of x, so I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 4 is equal to log 40. Now, I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by log 4. So then these two cancel out, and now I have x is equal to log of 40 over log 4. Now, log 40, this is the same thing as log of 4 times 10. This is log 40. 40 is equal to 4 times 10. So I have this over log 4. And now if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So in this case, I have log 4 times 10. So this is equal to log 4 plus log 10. And now I have this over log 4. Now log 4 plus log 10 over log 4, this is the same thing as log 4 over log 4 plus log 10 over log 4. And log 4 and log 4, these two cancel out. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus log 10 over log 4. So now log 10, this is the same thing as 1. Log 10 is equal to 1. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus 1 over log 4. And log 4 is equal to 0 0.602. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus 1 over 0 0.602, which is equal to 1 plus 1.66, meaning x is equal to 2.66.